Hello everyone, if you have a data set where you need to maintain records of zip code or security numbers, then you know how important it is to add or keep leading zeros in Excel. But here you can easily do this within a second. So this is Jihad Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to add or keep leading zeros in Excel. Before going into methods, let me explain to you the dataset a bit. Suppose you are dealing with a zip code which consists of 5 numbers but whenever you are entering 5 digit zip codes starting with a 0 in Excel, then you will see Excel always cuts the leading 0. So it is necessary for us to learn how to keep or add leading zeros in Excel. In our first method, we'll try using number formatting. To do that, we'll select the whole C column including the zip codes. Select Home tab. In the number section, go for the More Number formats. Now, we have Number Formats dialog box. Select Customs in the number section and as zip codes are consist of 5 numbers, so as type, we can easily write down 5 zeros. Click OK to get your perfect result. Let's analyze the result a bit. You will see that every cell of the zip codes now have a leading zero where it needs. But if the zip code already consists of five number without the leading zero, then it doesn't do any formation with it. So that's how we can easily use number formatting to get the job done. In our new method, we'll go for special formatting. At first, select the whole C column consisting zip codes, go to the Home tab. In the Number section, select the More Number Formats. In the Format Cells dialog box, go for the Special option. Here in the Type, zip code is available. So if you click OK, then you'll see your every cell of the zip code have the leading zero where it needs. So that's how it can be done. We can also do the same job by using text formatting. To do that, we'll select the whole C column of zip codes, go to the Home tab. In the number section, select the text option. Now your every number have been converted into text. As zip codes consisted 5 numbers, so we can easily add zip codes of the leading zeros manually. To do that, we'll go for every cell and manually enter leading zero where it needs. So we'll write down 0 here and it adds the leading 0. But the second cell C6 has already 5 numbers so don't add anything. Then you can do the same thing for every cell. So that's the text formatting for you but there is a problem here. In the left corner you will see there is a error sign. If you click on the error sign, then you'll see that it has the ignore error option. Click on it to solve the problem. So that's text formatting for you. Now we'll use apostrophe to solve our problem. So we'll go for the C5 cell and here the zip code has only 4 numbers and we want to add leading 0 here. So we'll insert apostrophe along with the 0 and hit the enter button. So it will convert the number into text and here we have our 5 number zip code along with the leading 0. As the next cell has already 5 numbers, so we will only add the apostrophe here. For every other cell, we can do manually the same thing. So that zip codes with 5 numbers here but there remains a problem like the previous method. So we'll select the whole C column again, the error sign and select ignore error to solve our problem. So that's how we can easily use apostrophe to solve our problem. In our new method, we'll go for using text function. 
To do that, we'll go to the D5 cell and insert the text function. The text function is used to convert a number into text. So, as our first parameter value, we'll select C5 as we want to convert this number into text. Now, we want to add the format text. As zip code always consists of five numbers, so we'll write down five numbers in the zip code format option. If we hit the enter button, then we'll get our perfect result. Now, copy down the formula to use it to every cell. Then, you will see your every cell of the zip code has the leading zero where it needs. So, that's how we can easily add or keep leading zeros in Excel with the help of text function. Now, we'll use combination of write and ampersand operator. We'll go to the D5 cell and insert the write function. The write function is used to extract the rightmost five characters of a text string. In the text section, we can easily select the zip code's five numbers format. So write down double quotation and five numbers of zip code. And along with it, we can use ampersand operator. And the value we're trying to add here is the C5. So select C5. Next parameter, we have number characters. That means the length of the character. As zip code always consists of five numbers. So write down five and then we can hit the enter button. So we'll get our perfect result along with the leading zero. Copy down the formula to get the result for every cell. So that's the combination of write and percent operator for you. In our new method, we want to use base function. So we'll go to the D5 cell and insert the base function. The base function is used to convert the decimal number into a base number. To do that, in our first parameter, we can easily select C5 as our number of the baseline, which we want to convert to a base 5 number. In our next argument, we have the radix. As we are trying to get a base 10 number, so we'll write down 10 as our radix. Next, we have min length. As we are trying to get the zip codes of 5 numbers, so write down 5 as our zip code, so that we can get 5 digit zip code number. If we hit the enter button, then we'll get perfect result along with the leading zero. Copy down the formula to use it to every cell. So that's how we can easily use space function to solve the problem. Suppose we have our data set in the text file and now we want to import the text file and add leading zeros here by using the Power Query tool. To do that, we'll at first go to the data tab and in the get and transformer data, we can easily select the from text or CSV option. Now go into the correct location and select the text file you want to add and then click on the import option. You have zipcodes.txt in your next file. You can easily go for the transform data and then you'll have your Power Query editor. In the Power Query Editor, you can easily go for the Add Column section and click on the Custom Column. In the Custom Column, you can add the name as you wish. So, we have selected the zip codes with leading zero as our column name. You can change as you wish. In our next formula, we can easily go for the text.pedster to refer our column name. In this case, the column name will be the first column, will refer column 1. As we are dealing with 5 digits zip code, so write down 5 as our next digit long and then go for the decimal number, so write down 0 in our double quotation. If we hit the OK option, then you will see that you have got your zip codes with the leading 0. If you click on the File option and go to the Close and Load option, then you will see you have your leading zeros in a new worksheet. So that's how you can easily use Power Query. Now we'll use the combination of wrapped and len function to solve the problem. So go to the D5 cell and insert the wrapped function, which is basically used to repeat a certain number or function. As we're trying to repeat the zero, so write down zero as our text, and how many times we have to select the five digit code 
and then we have to subtract the value of the c5 here so we write down the len which will easily contract the value of the c5 and now we can easily concatenate the c5 value within it so write down Emerson operator and c5 and hit the enter button so you'll see you have got your perfect result along with the leading zero copy down the formula to use it to every cell so that's how we can easily use the combination of rift and len functions suppose we want to add fixed number of leading zeros without even thinking about the total length of the digit to do that we'll go to the d5 cell and insert the concatenate function the concatenate function takes two or more arguments and combines them into a single string so we'll go to the d5 and write down the concatenate function concatenate function now we can easily use the text so as we are trying to insert two zeros as leading value so write down two zeros in a double quotation and then we want to connect it before the c5 cell so write down c5 as our next text and hit the enter button to get two leading zeros in front of the c5 cell copy down the formula to use it to every cell then you'll see in every case you have two leading zeros with the value of the c5 so that's concrete function for you In our new method, we want to use VBA code to solve our problem. So select the whole CL column of the zip code, go to the developer tab and select visual basic to open the visual basic editor. Go to the insert option here and select the module. Now you will have your new model of visual basic editor as we have already our code in our notepad. So we'll copy it down and paste it in the visual basic editor. Let's talk about the code a bit. Here we have the subroutines named as keep leading zeros. Next, we can have our range command in the C5 cell. It basically shows that the first cell is being selected that needs to be formatted. Now in the next section, we have end excel down dot select section. This portion basically shows that the entire range of cells containing the zip codes. In the next format, we have the number format to format the number we are dealing with five digits. So we'll write down five zeros in our double quotation and at the end, we have our in function with the in sub. If we run the code, then in the section, we have to select the run option and then in the main worksheet, you can easily see that you have the zip codes along with the two zeros before them. In our last method, we want to use pivot table to solve the problem. So we'll select the whole data range by using Ctrl plus A in the keyboard. Go to the insert tab and select the pivot table here. In the pivot table dialog box, you can easily select the data range and tick the add this data to model option and click OK. After that, you will have a new worksheet and in the right side, you have your range and pivot table fills you can easily right click on it and then you have the add measure section in the add measure section you can name it as your wish we'll write it as zip codes with the leading zeros now in the formula section we want to add the concatenate function so we'll write down the concatenate function to solve the string next we have our range heading so select the range heading here after that, we can go for the format option. In the format section, we can easily format our heading. In this case, the heading is the zip codes. So write down the zip codes here. Next, we have our five digit zip codes. So we'll write down five zeros in our double quotation. After that, we can easily go for the comma in between them. So write down double quotation and add comma again double quotation and add a comma so the zip codes will show that there is comma between them so if we hit the ok option then in the new section you have that zip codes along with the zeros if you select here and then you will see in the a3 section you have the zip codes with the leading zeros and they are divided themselves with the comma so that's pivot table for you 
So that's it for today. You can use any of these methods accordingly or you can also download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excellimit.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.